Studio Pro 10.8 is out and we're announcing a brand new feature, new cloud regions and meetups in new countries. Let's dive in. I'm excited to announce that we are releasing a brand new feature through the Mendix platform called Pipelines, which will save you hours of packaging and deploying your apps. Pipelines lets you design your own build and deployment processes with a set of easy to use configurable pre-built steps. Once they're set up, they will run automatically so you can enjoy hassle-free software releases. Let's say you want to automate package creation and deployments for your test environment. You open the Pipelines page in the developer portal and click Design a Pipeline. This template does exactly what you need, so you can start with that. You will see a number of steps from conditions to starting a pipeline all the way to publishing and deploying it to an environment. Simply expand each step to configure it. A pipeline can start automatically upon push to a branch or on a recurring schedule, for example, every Tuesday night at 7 p.m. Select the branch where the code needs to be checked out from and the environment the package needs to be deployed to. Fast forward to the next morning and you can see on the Runs tab that the pipeline ran automatically. That's it. CI-CD automation low-code style. Watch your team productivity soar as you free up valuable deployment hours. Pipelines is available for public beta right now. Check out the documentation for more details. Data Grid 2 is getting more popular by the day, and we love it. Older projects often still contain a lot of Data Grids 1, so we thought we'd make it easier to upgrade to Data Grid 2. You can now simply right-click on Data Grid 1 and convert it to Data Grid 2. Some features cannot be converted yet, in which case you will see a message with some details about what can't be converted automatically. Stay tuned as we'll be releasing more improvements in the coming months and add the option to convert multiple grids at the same time to make this migration easier. Mendix Cloud is now available in Korea and Indonesia, and we've opened a second cloud region in Japan, located in Osaka. With these new regions, local businesses, startups, and enterprises can innovate and thrive in their markets. Customers and users in these countries can now benefit from all the advantages of a local Mendix Cloud region, like low latency, high performance, which is crucial for applications that require real-time data processing and seamless user experiences. Also, enhanced data residency and compliance and the ability to store and process data within specific geographical boundaries. This is huge for organizations with strict data residency and compliance requirements and ensures that sensitive data stays within the designated region, meeting local regulatory standards. Two more benefits are scalability and reliability and seamless integration with the Mendix platform. The opening of a second Mendix Cloud region allows us to offer regional fallback in Japan as well. Apps with Premium Plus Cloud resource packs in the Tokyo region will fail over to Osaka if the Tokyo region becomes unavailable, and vice versa. You can log into your Mendix account and select your desired region when setting up your applications or services to take advantage of the new cloud regions. For more information, check out the Mendix Cloud page. You can now use the updated OpenAI Connector and Showcase app to help you make your apps even smarter with the same technology that's used for ChatGPT. You can easily generate text and JSON based on a single prompt and create an interactive chatbot and natural language search experience in your apps on top of your own knowledge base and documents. You can also use it to automatically cluster and categorize data and search for similarities. So go ahead and try it out. Generate some text, demo and test data, translations, or even some funny cat pictures if you get bored. You can find the updated connector and showcase app in the marketplace. And if you want, you can contribute on GitHub. Have you ever seen this dialogue when hitting run in Studio Pro? All the time, you say. No more, we say. Starting in Studio Pro 10.8, you can auto-save your documents when running locally. Just check Do Not Ask Me Again and never worry about saving your documents before running ever again. We hope you enjoy this little time saver. We're launching three new meetups in March. On March 1st in Dubai, on March 20th, the first factory industries meetup in Rotterdam, and on March 28th, the relaunch of the German meetup in Cologne. Sign up and find more meetups at meetup.com slash pro slash Mendix Maker Community. 
Want to start meetups in your country? Let us know by sending an email to community at mendix.com. And that's it for this video. For a full list of new features, improvements, and fixes, check out the release blog on mendix.com slash blog, or read the release notes on docs.mendix.com. Download Studio Pro 10.8 at marketplace.mendix.com to use all these new features right now. If you like these videos and want to see more, make sure you subscribe to get all the notifications. I'm Jan de Vries, your low-code host, and I'll see you in the next video.